I'd have liked to survive my mental variants. Today, I felt like a handful of salt. The clenched family will both slowly be allowed to dissolve through fingers, wet with salty tears. We are all so pale when we fall in love with illusions. I'd like to give you more joy, you know. But you can't smile at a clown if a clown does a smile at you first. I ended up celebrating my fears. At night, all shadows become people and transform my fate into a cruel destiny. I'd love to be able to give you just a little more luck. But you aren't real enough for me to touch your heart. His only thought is that he feels his soul has been taken away. Do you really think you can suffer without knowing it? I don't know, man. Life is so smooth sometimes that I almost think I can move to touch him without using my hands. Sincerity makes us impeccable. I don't think that's that deep. I don't think there's enough time left to save him from what's awaiting him. Sometimes, one lifetime is not enough. You know, I don't think I'll dream again. Someone told me that to stay real, you need to remain a child. And what is a child, man? Something that at the beginning grows inside you and ends up growing outside you. Does growing mean dying, man? I don't want to grow, man. Only imperfect things grow, my dear. I'd love to look him in the eyes. For a moment, at least. We never look at each other enough. I'd like to live on my luck. 
and bathe my heart in the sea that moves in his eyes, ma'am. Can one of you look in his direction? His heart makes him free. That's what makes him different. I could drink from his chalice, from here to eternity, but only in the knowledge that he can understand and love what I am, from here to eternity. I wish you would listen to me. I still feed on his regrets, my dear. And now they have to take him away from me. I will only be able to remember his tears. I feel so transparent without him near. My destiny tells me about old regrets hanging up there. In the dark, bare attic of the most faded memories. I'm running away.
Suspect individual in Delancey and Essex Street. 10-4, do you have a description? Uh, yeah. Suspect is white, male, approximately 5'8", 5'10", medium build, 35 to 40 years of age. Short hair, wearing blue jeans and black t-shirt. Copy that. Ready, go to drink. 10-4. Has the subject been captured? Over. All under control. I'm a bit suspicious of the mother. Are there any complications? Over. She uses psychotropic drugs. She doesn't seem very clear-headed. But she says it was her son. Over. They're questioning the mother. In fact, it appears she'd threatened the girl several times and forbidden her to see her son again. In any case, the girl's gone. But there were two of them. Two of them? Mr. Jeremy Donald Wellington. You're accused of instigating Regina Dempsey to commit suicide. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may and will be used against you. You have the right to have an attorney present now and during any future questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you free of charge if you wish. trying to trace the footsteps I left on the water's edge of my smiles. Perhaps one day I'll be able to think of my twenties as a carefree time in my life. I'll try to be reborn with the wind in my hair, thinking about all those photos taken with those people. That shares moments of my adolescence with me, my melancholy and my solitude. I never had thought I'd find myself looking at swallows chase each other across the sky. There they are. I feel them loving each other outside the window of my regrets. But it wasn't that bad when we were twenty, was it? <laughs> no. It wasn't that bad crying all those tears that I had in order to achieve that smile. A smile I'd even hidden from myself before discovering today that I'd always had it. Summer Sundays have a serenely static, sometimes melancholy air. When spring begins around early March, everything starts to change. Yes, even people's faces change in spring. Perhaps I live the rest of my days chasing our faded past, trying to turn back time. But I lost you too soon to grow and too late to understand, missing my chance to be born again. I am following you in complete soul. I have been looking for you my whole life. sound like you've never done before. Let your life ask you to give it some sense. On any morning, let the smile of a stranger bring out yours. In 30 years time, we will regret not having smiles enough, and we'll find ourselves walking on the back of our memories like old seagulls, always flying a meter off the empty tool. Let's not allow these years to flee from our expectations. Let's not allow them to evaporate and let's not allow someone to tell us what we can or cannot do. 
One day I'd like to remember those who never smiled, those who never cried and those who never even laughed at life. Surely I remember those I loved, those who breathed, those who were aware of having really been alive, at least once in that life. There are too many things we like to say and even more things we like to do. So we just have to stand up, look towards the horizon and watch the sunrise. Find a meaning to this unpredictable life without any reference point. Wake up out there. There's no time to win. We have to live. Don't balls everything up now. Don't lose everything in immensity without first having understood you were part of it. One day we'll regret not having lived enough. If our wish is to leave vibrating, there can never be anything that will abandon us. One day I looked to myself in a mirror and I felt myself reborn. And with all the strength I had in me, I said, it's not you who would choose your life because your life chose you a long time ago. Let us surrender. Surrender to the beauty of truth. And let's love as much as we can. Miss you. Miss you.